we hear shit ricocheted. Everybody dropped to the ground and I got gout. And I'm like, help. I am coming out with a Bottle Girl ebook, the Bottle Girl Survival Guide. And you need the book to be on the schedule because sometimes that, that it is what it is. It's already this girl's birthday. Honestly, it's already, so you done with her after tonight, probably. So anybody else in that section full of 30 people, I'm sure somebody's birthday is gonna come up. You hype your shit up, even if it's the driest shit ever. Yeah, I'm a little tipsy, but they were shooting. I'll tell you my life flashed before my eyes. Literally, I was outside, minding my business. Outside, everybody outside. And we heard some gunshots, but it sounded like it was from far away. So we was like, oh, what the fuck is that? Is that fireworks or gunshots? We in the hood though, so we should have known. So then, girl, a couple seconds later, we hear shit ricocheted. Everybody dropped to the ground and I got gout. And I'm like, help. <laughs> People trying to trample over me, all the niggas. When I tell you the niggas, Boom, shoom, uh -huh. and I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to get down. I'm limping because my foot hurt because I got gout. Girl, it was just, it was really, really scary. After we felt a little safe, we went inside and everybody inside was ducked down and hiding and shit. I went in the freezer uh, and nobody was calling the cops. Look, listen, fuck the police, but shit, I need the police. Come, hello? I'm. Doop doop doop. I called 911. Let me show y'all. I called 911 and I was not playing with them. And the lady was acting stupid. She kept asking me, Did you see the shooter? Well, that wasn't a stupid question, but I kept telling her, Ma'am, I did not see the shooter. I jumped on the ground. I fell on the ground and tried to crawl to a safe spot. Y'all see that? I started off with, like, I didn't see nothing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm calling because I feel like my safety is in danger and I'm fearful. And this man was like, why are you calling the police? Why are you calling the police? You're fearless, so you get out the freezer and you go on to the front of the, the restaurant and you stand right there. Me, myself, and I, I'm gonna sit back here in the cold ass freezer and call the police because I don't play that shit. I don't have no gun. Other niggas had guns, they was back in the freezer with us. It's other women outside, like, I just know that my life flashed before my eyes, but I made $700. I'm not gonna count it on camera because I don't, right now I don't even feel safe. Just know I made $700 and that's it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I have an event today, like a private event for this man. His name is ETCO in Houston. It's supposed to be celebrities there. Supposedly Boosie gonna be there. If Boosie don't fucking show up, I'm gonna be fucking mad. But they said it's sold out, so we're gonna see. But somebody in my comment section asked me, well first, hold on, pause. Before we get into the tip of the day or the night, I want to talk about something real quick. So, I I went to a casting call um, last week. I don't know what day it was. Last week sometime. So, I come myself, went to a casting call. You know, I dressed up. I had it on a black dress. They said, wear all black. Wear a black dress and a sweater over the top because I didn't want to be too sexy. And plus, my boobs was popping out on the sides. So, I went in there, and I'm not going to lie, I went in there kind of late, about 9, 9, 15. It ended at 10, it was from 7 to 10. And, but it was like five minutes down from my house. So, I get in there, and it's like, I don't know, like, I just, have you ever walked into a room, and you just felt like, well, let me say, tell you why I felt like this. So, I walked in, and I asked for application, and they were like, there's no more applications, we have too many girls. We had like 170-something girls apply. And then I know one of the promoters um, that was over it. And so I kind of like looked at him, like made eye contact with him because I've known him for years, like four or five years. Now, I'm not, this is not a relationship to where we talk every day or nothing like that. Like, hell no. We used to work at the same place. We used to speak. We saw each other like, that's how I know him. So like we made eye contact and he kind of like looked away. And I was like, like, okay. So like I said, I asked for an application and... They said that there was none left, and I was like, well, the flyer says you're here till 10, so, you know, is there any way you could produce the application? Because I'm like, fuck, I put on my makeup, I put this dress on, man, I didn't even want to come, but I decided to come at the last minute. And basically, like, I was just getting, we don't give a fuck, you came late, bye. That's pretty much the, the vibes that I was getting. Now, the girl did tell me to go get an application, but there was none left. And I feel like she kind of knew that there was no applications left. I'm not saying she did, but... It had been girls walking in before me trying to get applications and there was none love. So 
I don't know what her intention was behind saying that if he she was just trying to get me to go away from her. But I just felt so insignificant at that point. I'm not saying I'm anybody because I'm nobody in Houston, trust me. But I just felt so insignificant and I'm actually launching a business um pretty soon and I'm just like damn like Y'all can be the same people that's wanting outfits for me. Y'all can be the same people when, when y'all shrug me off and do whatever y'all gotta do to get back to what y'all were talking about, whatever. It's, it's just, y'all gonna be the same people looking for outfits and I'm gonna sell them to you because that's, that's profit. But I don't know, I just felt so like, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm not a regular bitch because I'm regular as fuck, but like, it just made me feel some type of way like, okay, bitch, well, I'm about to shit on y'all, you know, like, I don't know, I just felt like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just felt so insignificant. But we're gonna get into the tip. So somebody in my conversation asked me how to book sections. Now, I will say I am coming out with a Bottle Girl ebook, the Bottle Girl Survival Guide. I did a couple trainings and I used this. Um, I created this myself, side note. Nobody came up with, like nobody helped me with this. I didn't collaborate with nobody. I, I just came up with this myself, so. Um, I'm definitely gonna add more to this because I use this for training purposes and I feel like it's a lot more that I can put into this, but I'm on, in the process of working on it. But I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips from it, just like a sneak peek. The number one tip that I can give y'all is networking. Just with like with any job, networking, networking, networking. The more people you know, the more people, not even just people you know, you have to get their information, get their contact information. When you go out and be on the scene, meet people, interact with people, get their information. So when they're ready to book a session, they'll be like, oh, um, I remember I got a bottle girl's number. Let me hit her up and see how much her sessions are. When you guys go out and have fun and be, you know, getting niggas numbers and stuff. When it's their birthday coming up, you know, hey, homeboy, it's your birthday coming up. Or if you got friends, birthday's coming up, let me know and I'll get them a section. You know, I'll get Let me stress this to you guys. Let me stress this to you guys. Any type of industry, stripping, bottle girl, service industry, it's superficial, basically. So, always look your best, especially when you're going to work, when you're going out, Try to look your best because people judge you based on your looks. And as sad as it is and as discouraging as it is, look your best. Have confidence and look your best. I'm going to just leave it at that. Okay, I got to talk fast. I got 10 minutes. So tips on booking section. Utilize all your social media platforms to post flyers, post videos of yourself, post pictures of yourself. Let them know. First of all, you got to let people know that you work at a club and you want people to come book with you. So you got to promote yourself, promote the club, promote, promote, promote. You can even put it in your bio. Get at me for sections at Libel, Houston, Texas. Also, when you guys are doing these posts, don't just post flyers of yourself. That's why I said post pictures and, and videos of yourself. Don't just post flyers, the flyers that they drop in the group chat. Post yourself, do sexy poses. Girl, what the fuck is that? That's definitely not sexy. I don't know what that is. Post in your bottle girl uniform. Post in front of the club by the name of the club so people know. And your captions. Get at me for sections. I got section deals all month. We're going to talk about that in a second. But get at me for sections and then utilize, utilize, utilize hashtags. Hashtags are going to bring people that are not following you onto your page. Some hashtags, because I'm in Houston, Houston Bottle Service, Houston Nightlife, Houston, HTX Nightlife, Houston, Texas, book with me. A lot of times people from out of town are always looking for somewhere to go, looking for something to do. And I love out of towners because they don't know shit. Man, I tell you, out of towners are my favorite when people tell me, oh, I'm not from here. My ears perk up. My heart starts beating fast. But um, I'm getting off topic. Also, Facebook is a great resource to use because it tells you when people's birthdays are coming up. If you know when people's birthdays are coming up, slide in their DMs, be like, hey girl, I know your birthday coming up. Let me know if you want a section. I got a section deal for you because you my friend. I'm gonna give you $50 off the section fee. Even if you don't give it, let's say, let's say you don't give $50 off the section fee. Let's just say you you telling her that you're giving her $50 off the section fee, but you're really not. Make it seem like you're giving her a deal. If it's your friend, no, give him a deal. Come on now, sis. You don't need that money that bad. That bad. Okay, so get into the specials. Make your own specials. So let's say the month of August, if you haven't booked no sections in a while and you need to book to be on the schedule because sometimes that, that it is what it is on some real shit, if you don't book, you don't be on the schedule. Now, I will say, I will say, this is where it comes into, the better you look, the more likely you are to be on the schedule. Like, if nobody books, or if one person books and they need more girls to fill up the schedule, they're gonna put probably the best looking girls or the girls that sold the most sections previously, like, on the schedule. That's just a heads up.
but make your own special. So like the section fee is a hundred, and you know who could forty dollars charge one hundred and fifty dollars for the section fee. And your, ca and your caption state section comes with the hookah. Now, at my club, the hookah is a separate company and you gotta buy it yourself. But that all comes into play with you. Let's say somebody bought a section previously. They bought the section, they sent you $150. Bottles are bought at the club. Let's say they bought the section, $150. $100 for the section fee, $40 for hookah. But like I say, you charge them $150. You go set them down and then the money that they gave you for the set for the hookah, just go and pay the hookah man and br just bring the hookah. They don't, don't even tell them, hey, it's a separate company, give me a second, just go and get them. It ain't none of their business. They gonna pay their money and then they gonna go on about their business. It's a way to market yourself. You made your own special, you said hookah's included, section fee is this, buy your bottles when you get to the club. This will make the customers think that they're receiving a deal or you can even give a real special shit. You can give $50 off section fees for the month of January. Put it in all your captions when you're posting your videos, when you're in your Instagram stories. Put it in all your captions to make people want to come. Invite your sections you work to come back. So that's just not your sections. If you get a promoter section, invite them to come back. If they're having a hard time with the promoter and stuff is not right, because a lot of times these sections that book to the promoters, they be having hard ass times. They don't be having the money. They don't be having, they send the money to the promoter and then the money is nowhere to be found for the bottles, for whatever. So if they having a hard time, say, slide on in and be like, hey, you know, next time book with me. I work here, so it ain't gonna be no confusion, no frustration. You don't get your bottles on time and stuff. When you go with the promoter, sometimes it's, it's up in the air. So let them know. Or even if, even if they have a great time, say, hey, next time book with me, I'll give you a section deal. You know, like like I say, you can give them a section deal, you don't have to give them a section deal. But make it seem like they're getting something out of their money. Um, providing great customer service. So that goes ties into inviting people back. If you don't provide good service, if you don't give people the experience that they wanted for their birthday, for their celebration, they're not gonna wanna come back to you, they're not gonna book with you. So make sure you you pouring their shots up. One thing I like to do, I like to pour people's shots in their mouth. I'll be like, who birthday it is? Who birthday, who birthday? Let's say this is the bottle. True. I put it in my, let's say they got two bottles. I use two bottles. People like to record and everything. And if somebody all asks, if somebody else, anybody else want me to pour it in your mouth? Most of the time niggas don't want you to pour it in your mouth. Anybody else want you to pour it in your mouth? Okay, cool. Then I start pouring shots. You know, don't just drop the bottle off and leave and be like, okay, y'all got y'all. Here, bottle girl. Here you go. Bottle girl dance. Okay, I'm done. Here you go. I'm done. Y'all need anything? Okay, cool. And then on top of that, they're not just there to buy bottles. Sometimes they be hungry. Sometimes they don't want bottles that are served and they want other drinks outside of that like let's say the the table orders the casamigos and they want a hennessy and coke they're that's not a hennessy and coke so go get them continue to serve that table don't just neglect them after they get the bottle and i think that's a, where a lot of girl bottle girls fell at because it's already this girl birthday honestly it's already so you done with her after tonight probably so anybody else in that section full of 30 people i'm sure somebody's birthday is going to come up and that same person that wanted that hennessy and coke that you didn't come back and check on them and they had to walk to the bar and their heels and their feet are already hurting because they've been standing up for hours. That might be, you know, a section that might want to book with you, but she's like, well, dang, I can't even get no Hennessy and Coke because you just dropped the bottle off. This is the service you're going to give. Nah, I ain't, I'm going to stick with the promoter or I'm going to book somewhere else. So make sure you're giving great customer service. I don't want to give y'all all my tips and stuff because, like I said, I'm coming out with a bottle girl ebook for you guys. Use selling points. So, also in the captions, I'll say, hey, we have the cheapest bottles in the city, cheapest section prices, great food, great energy, great environment. Make it, hype your shit up. Even if it's the driest shit ever, hype it up. Hype it up. Well, pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. What was that song? Hype it up because at the end of the day, people want to go for their experience. They want to go and pop bottles and see other people pop bottles, but they want to go for their experience. Uh, we're almost sold out. Book now. That's to encourage people to book because if people think you're always almost sold out, first of all, people don't want to go to no dry ass, weak ass club with nobody in it. When you tell them that you're almost sold out, like they're going to think, oh, I need to get a section. I need to hurry up and make a decision because shit, if I don't get it, I'm not going to be able to get a section. Also, one thing, when you guys do book your sections, well, two more things. When you guys book your sections, try to go go above and beyond. Like, go get a popper. A popper, you know, those poppers that you turn and confetti come out. Go get a popper for your section and make make them feel like, man, this is the best experience I've ever had in my life. I'm coming back. Most people don't get poppers for their sections or go get them a mini cupcake or something. Something that's going to cost you little to nothing, but make their experience great. All about experience. 
When um, people slide in your DMs, also side note, this is the last thing, it's the last thing. When people slide in your DMs, have a ready-made something available, something to respond back. So for instance, this is just an example. Hey love, thanks for inquiring about sections. We are the cheapest sections in the city and you're guaranteed to have a great time. Sections are $400, which includes two bottles and 10 people free entry. Additional bottles are $150. All bottles come with sparklers, birthday signs, or other relevant signs. You're welcome to bring your own signs. We're going to put on a show for you. If you purchase five plus bottles, you automatically receive a popper into your section. Yes, you can decorate your sections. Yes, we accept tips. A lot of the times people slide in your DMs, but they slide in her DMs, they slide in this promoter DMs, they slide in this club DMs, they slide in this. So if you're late to the, to the, to the club, you're trying to type up your response and you're late to it, then you might not get that, that person. So have something ready made, ready available first. of all, it's not, it's not a headache for you when you have to type all the shit out and come. Constantly keep it typing and typing and typing when people inquire about a section. You can just already have it out. But you, the quicker you respond to them, the quicker the conversation goes. Well, like I said, you don't know who else they're talking to in the city about a section. So those are just some of my tips for booking sections. But that is not guaranteed that you're going to book a section. So, But, girl, back to the, because uh, I'm still mad about that shit. Ooh, it's 542. Um, this, this Big J, this ain't Little J, this Big J. Big J, period, on period. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I just felt so like, like a, like a peasant. That's how I felt, like a peasant. Let me remind you, baby, this Big J, not Lil J, Big J. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to be late. Um, Let me go put my clothes on real quick, and then I gotta go. I'm about to go to my nigga house. Bye, y'all. A secret tip, a tip that I've never really heard anybody say. Okay, so I work at Live Oak and it's places like Prospect Park, Camp, Seaside, Atomic Bottle. So reach out to one of your fellow bottle girlfriends and say, hey, I work at Live Oak. Somebody recently did this to me and I did this to someone else a long time ago though. Say, hey, I work at Live Oak or wherever you work. And I know you work at Prospect Park. I have people asking me to book at Prospect Park. If you had any people that wanted to book at Live Oak, I'll send people to you if you send people to me. 